What's going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Raking Stories. And once again, another SRX video. And it is another driver announcement. And to be honest, not only it's unexpected, but in my personal opinion, but no disrespect, pretty disappointing. So in case if you guys didn't hear earlier today on like social media from a from the SRX racing series. I don't know if this is for like the amateur class or like the main class of the SRX, but it won't be a but but it won't be a surprise if it's a the main SRX class or whatnot. But it was announced that Haley Deegan is going to be in a Superstar Extreme Experience series. No, hold on. Superstar Racing Experience. My bad. And to be honest, I was like, what? But to be really honest, I'm disappointed. Why am I disappointed about this? And before you guys angrily type in the comments and all that stuff about me saying some disappointed opinions about Haley Deegan, please listen. Just please. Hold those comments at least. Look at Charlie. Hi, right, Charlie. And now I'm scratching Charlie. Anyway, while I'm scratching Charlie's back, um, anyway, as I was saying, um, why Haley Deegan in the SRX is disappointing is, is, to be honest, and I don't mean it in a disrespectful way, and no, I'm not a Haley Deegan hater. Um, the thing is that she hasn't done anything to get to the SRX. Yes, I know the series is meant to be for like superstars and all that, but to be honest, she she hasn't earned it. She really hasn't earned it. I get it. Three West Series wins, I can respect that. However, she has not won an ARCA race, and she hasn't even finished top fifteen in the Truck Series so far this year. I get it. It's her rookie year. I can understand that, but my God, she could at least had one top fifteen finish. But seriously, let's be real. What has she done to get to the SRX? I don't get it. Like, I know, I get some people are like, oh, wait, I thought this is for, like, veterans or, like, old school drivers or whatever, like, legends, something like that. I thought so, too. But then again, we had, like, Marco Andretti. Marco Andretti was a bad IndyCar driver, but at least he had two IndyCar wins in the Indy 500 pole. Ernest Francis Jr. is a seven-time SCCA champion. And I believe he's like, what, 21, 22? <laughs> so, yeah. I can forgive Marco Andretti and the SRX. But Haley Deegan, only three wins in a Pro Series, two second-place finishes, third in points, but what else? She hasn't won an ARCA race. And to be honest, I feel like she's rushing herself. She, as soon as she got the trucks at Kansas and it was announced, oh, Dean is doing trucks next year. And in 2021, full time. I was like, yep, she's rushing. And the fact that she's going to the SRX, although she hasn't accomplished anything um, outside the three, the West Series wins and whatnot, I don't understand. Like, like I don't know if it's for the amateur part with... Um, Bobby Santos, Brian Brown, uh, all those drivers, or if it's the main guys and all that. And also, I thought the SRX is trying to be, trying to compete with NASCAR as well. So why have that? So why have a, an active NASCAR driver? I don't know. But still, in my personal opinion, Haley Deegan does not deserve to the SRX. Therefore, it's a disappointing news. And what about Greg Buffalo? And yes, he was part of the photo shoot. But what about Biffle? Is he going to be in the SRX? Did they really dump out Greg Biffle for Haley Deegan or what's going on? I don't know either. Because there's supposed to be 12 drivers in the first season of SRX. So I don't know what's going on. And I get it. Haley Deegan's a better driver than I'll ever be. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I'm just a motorsports fanatic making videos. I'm not the one racing. And know that. I get that. But 
I just don't think she deserves to be in the SRX yet. If she like accomplished something, like a win or whatever, something like that, I feel like, okay, this is somewhat deserving, but she hasn't accomplished anything at all. That's the problem. That's the problem I have with Deegan and the SRX. If she accomplished something, I can understand that, but what did she accomplish to get to the SRX? I get it. Ray Evernham said that he likes her driver, driving aggressive style. I can understand where Ray Everham's coming from. I understand that. He wants to see, like, the superstars, best drivers, aggressive drivers, all that fun stuff for short tracks and dirt racing. I get that, but Diggy hasn't done anything to get to that. And maybe I could be proved wrong that, oh, Haley Deegan can actually do something in the SRX. And there's Charlie back here being a doggo. Anyway, so will Deegan do good in the SRX or will... Will she fucking suck in the SRX? I don't know. I would like to be proved wrong. I would like her I would like her to show me and other people that hey, she's good in the SRX. I want to. If that's the case. As of now, she hasn't done anything and all that stuff. Maybe focus on trucks and then maybe you can do some SRX races. There you go. Why is she in this? I don't know. So, yeah, that's just my personal opinion. Again, this is not coming from a Haley Deegan hater. I'm not a, I, I don't hate Haley Deegan. It's just, I don't think she deserves to be in the SRX yet. Accomplish something, then go to the SRX. So, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment respectfully, by the way. Like and subscribe for more content. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. Don't forget to follow my social accounts. Thank you guys so much for supporting E Nation. This is Ian Press 48 signing off and I'm still looking forward to the SRX. Goodbye everybody.